and a setback for a South Georgia school district after nearly 140 employees and students had to quarantine in the summer due to possible exposure to COVID-19. Grady County Schools is now less than a week away from reopening on September 8th. ABC 27's Cara Bailey shows us how they're preparing to get back to school safely. Teachers in Grady County Schools cranking out the creativity when it comes to social distancing, making sure to connect with parents and students just days before the start of school. We have never done an open house oh, quite like right. this one. This are. is definitely us, you know, thinking outside of the box. And that's just one way the district has adjusted to the safety needs that come with reopening during COVID-19. They've modified school hours, dedicating the last hour for teachers to connect with students virtually. This helps ensure all teachers are ready to transition to virtual classes if needed. This, just as a combined nearly 30 teachers have recently come off quarantine. Last Tuesday, we had, I believe it was 32 people that were either had COVID or were quarantined. The majority of those were quarantined because they had been exposed. And the majority of those were at Carroll High School. We had a, a faculty member that um, did not realize that they had contracted it, um, was in a meeting, and then that spread. It was the reason we had to uh, quarantine the 32 people. Since then, 20 of those employees and more than 100 students have been cleared from quarantine. Those that remain are expected to clear before school starts Tuesday. May says despite the challenges, people in her district are ready to get back to learning. As a whole though, the, the, the teachers are excited and the students are excited, both virtually and face to face to get back into the classroom and to to get the school year started. Superintendent Gilliard says he looks forward to students return and has employees at the district office standing by ready to pitch in if they need to cover classes. In Grady County, Cara Bailey, ABC 27. And it's not too late for parents to have their child attend virtual classes. Digital enrollment will remain open through next Friday.